And I'm back again for another vlog. Uh, uh, last week I talked about how my work put hidden cameras uh, in the back room of the deli. Um, and then this week uh, we had a deli meeting uh, for all the people who work in the deli. And they didn't mention the hidden cameras. They did talk about people eating in the deli. And they said it's fine to sample food. Like if a new product comes in, you can sample it. And uh, so you can tell the customers about it if they ask, but, um, oh, and you can taste some of the food if it looks like it might be, uh, uh bad, like if it looks uh, too dry or burnt. Uh, you can you can taste it, see if you should get rid of it or, and cook some more. But the, but they don't want people just like eating a meal in the back room, uh, which like I said in my last video, I don't do that. I just take little pieces of food uh, that we would otherwise have, uh, have to throw out and I just take them back and eat, uh, eat them so I'm, I don't think I'm breaking the rules but I don't know I'll, I'm just going to be more careful uh, but because they didn't bring it up and I first heard about the hidden cameras from a co-worker um, uh, and, and not the, the, the uh, bosses, I guess. Uh, it almost makes me think that there weren't any hidden cameras to begin with. Uh, they just told people that they, that there were hidden cameras, so people went and eat uh, while on the job. And this week, I also got a comment on one of my videos, which doesn't happen very often. So the, the comment said that maybe the store put the hidden cameras uh, up uh, for workers' comp reasons, like to maybe catch people uh, faking injuries, or to make sure that they actually hurt themselves in the way that they said it, which is another possibility. I didn't think of that, and, and it's the room where uh, we wash all the dishes, so it can get slippery back there. But also during that deli meeting, they talked about changes that were happening. Because uh, uh, the, the deli manager, uh, she left not too long ago. She, she left to go be the deli manager at a, another store. Uh, and then there's also been a little bit of remodeling going on. Uh, like, like in, in the back room, they added more shelves uh, and, and uh, took, took some uh, took some of the old supplies out, so, 
So we have some new supplies and more uh, space to store them. Uh, which is it, really nice. It makes a difference. And a bunch of stuff has been reorganized. So there's a lot of stuff going on. And they talked about that in the meeting. How they're uh, making all these changes and kind of starting over or starting something new in the deli. Yeah, yeah, and they went over um, uh, a, a bunch of stuff. It was a long meeting. And they talk about how they want everyone to know how to do almost everything. Because now, since I usually just work in the evenings or afternoons, I only know what, uh, what how to do stuff that I normally do uh, in the evenings. And I don't know how to do stuff that people do in the mornings, like get everything prepared for the day. Uh, like, like I, I know how to uh, take every thing out and put it all away, but I don't know how to put everything out. Like, put all the food out and, and all the stuff we need for the day. I, I don't really know anything about that. And I'm not the only one. So they, they want to get people more training. And one thing someone said during the meeting was they thought that all the people working at the deli were good people and a good group. Uh, but we just needed more structure and direction for our, our job. Uh, uh, which is what I need in my life period. Uh, yeah, so so it's great that I'm getting more structure and direction uh, at my job. Before now, uh, I might have some downtime and not know exactly what to do if there's no customers to help and I got all my other stuff done. So during that downtime I would usually just uh, end up wiping uh, stuff down, cleaning it like like the counters. E even if they weren't dirty, I'll just wipe them down to to make it look like I'm busy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just spray it and then wipe it off. <laughs> uh, but, but now hopefully they'll train me on other stuff to do so I can do more stuff during my downtime and not be so bored or pretend that I'm busy. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, these changes sound like they'll be a good thing. Uh, so. More structure. I don't think I can ever have enough structure 
or too much structure in my life. So yeah, that's great. And and that's going to be it for this vlog. Uh, so until next video, uh, see you later. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing.